building a chatbot connected to a knowledge base is an excellent way to leverage the power of AI to solve complex problems in real time. With ChatGPT as the underlying AI model, we can create a chatbot that can provide users with accurate and relevant information. To build a chatbot and connect it to a knowledge base, we must define the problem, create a knowledge base, connect the chatbot to the knowledge base, write the prompt, train the model, and test and launch the chatbot. By following these steps, we can build a chatbot that is connected to a knowledge base, allowing users to ask questions and receive answers in a conversational way. This approach is useful for businesses, organizations, and individuals who want to automate customer support, provide quick access to information, and streamline communication. Let us discuss these steps in detail in this topic. Before building a chatbot, it's essential to define the problem you want to solve. The problem definition will help you understand the type of information you need to store in your knowledge base and the type of questions the chatbot should be able to answer. Here are some steps to consider when defining the problem. Identify the use case. What problem are you trying to solve and how will a chatbot help you solve it? Define the scope. What specific questions do you want the chatbot to answer? How deep and broad should its knowledge be? Identify your audience. Who will be using the chatbot? What are their expectations, and how can you design the chatbot to meet their needs? By clearly defining the problem, you can ensure that your chatbot is built with a specific purpose and target audience in mind, making it more effective and useful. The next step is to create the knowledge base itself. The knowledge base is a repository of information that the chatbot will use to answer questions posed by users. Here are some steps to consider when creating a knowledge base. Determine the structure of the knowledge base. Decide how you will store the information and what format it will take. Will it be a database, spreadsheet, or some other data storage system? Gather information. Collect all the information you need to answer the questions you've identified in the problem definition step. This could include FAQ documents, product manuals, customer support tickets, and more. Organize the information. Structure the information in a way that's easy to search and retrieve. This may involve categorizing the information, tagging it with keywords, or creating a hierarchy of topics. By creating a well-organized and comprehensive knowledge base, you can ensure that your chatbot has access to all the information it needs to provide accurate and relevant answers to users' questions. Once you've created the knowledge base, the next step is to connect the chatbot to it. This involves writing code that will allow the chatbot to query the knowledge base, retrieve information, and return it to the user in a conversational format. Here are some steps to consider when connecting the chatbot to the knowledge base. Choose an API. Decide on the best API to use to connect the chatbot to the knowledge base. This may involve using a specific programming language or framework that integrates with your chosen API. Retrieve information. Write code that will query the knowledge base to retrieve the information requested by the user. Process the information. Use natural language processing techniques to convert the retrieved information into a conversational format that the chatbot can use to respond to the user. By connecting the chatbot to the knowledge base, you can ensure that it has access to all the information it needs to provide accurate and relevant answers to user questions in a conversational format. The prompt is the initial message that the chatbot sends to the user to start a conversation. Writing an effective prompt is critical to engaging users and encouraging them to interact with the chatbot. Here are some steps to consider when writing the prompt. Keep it simple. The prompt should be short and straightforward, without any technical jargon or complicated language. Be friendly. The chatbot should introduce itself in a friendly manner to put users at ease and encourage them to ask questions. Be clear. The prompt should clearly state what the chatbot can help with and what kind of questions the user can ask. Some example prompts you might use can be Hi. I'm a chatbot. How can I help you today? Or 
What would you like to know about X, or What's your question about X? By writing an effective prompt, you can ensure that users feel comfortable interacting with the chatbot and are more likely to ask questions and seek information. Training the model is a crucial step in building a chatbot that can provide accurate and relevant information to users. This is where ChatGPT comes in. By providing examples of how the chatbot should respond to different questions, you can fine-tune the model and make it more accurate. Here are some steps to consider when training the model. Gather the training data. The first step is to collect a set of training data that includes example questions and answers. This can be done through user feedback, surveys, or by using existing data sources. Fine-tune the model. Using the training data, you can fine-tune the ChatGPT model to better understand the nuances of the language and provide more accurate responses. Evaluate performance. Once the model is trained, it's essential to evaluate its performance by testing it with a variety of questions and evaluating its responses. Repeat the process. As you gather more data and user feedback, it's important to continually refine and improve the model to provide better results. By training the chatbot model with ChatGPT, you can create a powerful tool that can provide accurate and relevant information to users in real time. Testing your chatbot is an essential step before launching it. You want to ensure that your chatbot can accurately and effectively answer questions from users. Thoroughly test your chatbot by asking it a variety of questions and evaluating its responses. This can help you identify any potential issues and make any necessary adjustments before launching. Here are some tips for testing your chatbot. Ask a variety of questions to ensure your chatbot can handle different types of inquiries. Evaluate the chatbot's responses to ensure they are accurate and relevant. And finally, test the chatbot on different devices and platforms to ensure it works properly. After thorough testing, it's time to launch your chatbot. To launch your chatbot, you need to integrate it into a website, mobile app, or any other platform where users can interact with it. Make sure the chatbot is easy to find and use by providing clear instructions on how to access it. When launching your chatbot, make sure to provide users with accurate and relevant information. This will help build trust and increase user engagement. Additionally, continue to monitor and evaluate your chatbot's performance after launch to ensure it continues to meet the needs of your users.